Nicholas Kraft, CEO of Christophla. Thanks for joining me today. Um, let's talk a little bit about the brand and its and its heritage. It really has such a rich tradition. It started in 1830, is that correct? Yes. Charles Christophe, in fact, founded the company in 1830. Charles Christophe was a jeweler. He was also a silversmith. Okay. And uh, in the 19th century, Charles Christophe <laughs> developed the company and, uh, and the company was really successful in the second part of the 19th century. And uh, mostly by doing silver plating and, uh, and using a process of uh, electro uh, silver plating. Okay. And, uh, in the, and from that time, we begin to develop the brand all around the world already. Mm -hmm. And in uh, the first time that the brand reached uh, a United States was in, uh, at the end of the 19th century. And, uh, and uh, in Chicago, uh, uh, Marshall Fields, uh, in fact, uh, 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 listed the, 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 the brand in his store. Oh, really? And, uh, and which is quite interesting and, uh, when you know the story of uh, Marshall Field and, uh, and uh, saying that uh, gives the lady what she wants. And, uh, sure, <laughs> sure. And, uh, and, uh, so that was and, almost uh, a curation of brands there, and, and, yeah. and Christoph was one of the brands. Yeah. That's and great. Uh, so that was the first entree into the U.S. market. Yeah, it was at that time. Um, and the subsidiary, Christoph subsidiary in the United States was founded in, uh, in 1953. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, we opened a store on, uh, on 57th Street at that time, and uh, between the Madison and Fifth. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and since uh, we are in the country and uh, opening store, and, uh, and so we know, I would say, quite well that market. And it's one of our biggest markets. In fact, it's our second market uh, in the world for Christoph. So what really and, um, is happening as far as your, your um, consumer base? You know, what, what insights are sort of driving your brand and marketing strategy? What do your consumers want these days from? Uh, I would say, I would describe perhaps our typical customer for mm -hmm. that. And, uh, and, uh, and our typical customer is, uh, is traveled, uh, is... Uh, uh, as as a lot of uh, uh, influence and uh, and uh, he has multiple multiple uh, house uh, uh, and uh, he can have a, a, year, a yacht uh, he can have uh, uh, multiple houses and so we try to offer him a global a global offer to for him to understand what is Christoph Christoph uh, being a lifestyle brand and. Uh, through uh, equipment of his houses, and uh, and we are working with uh, his decorators, his designers, uh, to equip his houses, and but we are also partnering with uh, with uh, Dema, for example, which is uh, the association of uh, uh, real estate uh, of estate manager, and uh, to educate uh, his staff, uh, and for him to really not only having the product but to be able to enjoy the product mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, to have the best use of the Christoph flatware the decoration item of Christoph got it so it's not just it's not just purchasing the items it's you're there to help them exactly use the product live the brand if you will and really integrate it into their lives yeah it's we really want that it he really enjoy the product again. Mm -hmm. I, I'm repeating the same word because yeah. this is a, that word. And, uh, and uh, how do you define the sort of the core brand essence? How would you summarize it? It's uh, it's 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 about lifestyle. It's all about that. It's uh, uh, we are always thinking what he will like, how it can be presented, how it can fit in the best in a house, how it can be the most practical to use, but also the nicest to use, uh, and uh, having the nicest design. And we are partnering with designers, but very different designers. It can be André Putman, uh, and, but it can be also uh, even Karim Rashid, uh, who is a neo-pop uh, artist, uh, sure. uh, quite famous here in New York. Uh, but Michel Ocadoner also, in, uh, and, uh, and Michel Ocadoner uh, designed a line of jewelry for Christophe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, so partnering with designers is key and core to, um, to the brand strategy. Mm -hmm. How about partnering with other brands? What's your, what's your approach there? 
When we partner with other brands, it's mostly for events. It's mostly for animation. Mm -hmm. We tried also in the same, uh, with uh, keeping the same philosophy of ani animating the brand and uh, also uh, animati animating our clientele. Uh, uh, and we try to also create events for our customer to have to enjoy an experience and with Christophe, not only coming in our store just to have a glass of champagne. Mm -hmm. So when we do events, we try also to partner with these brands like some caviar brands or champagne brands. And well, there's synergy there. Yes, where there is synergy, sure. brands same size as us, and uh, and they will uh, and for a champagne brand they will have uh, we will invite uh, uh, a chef de cave to explain how he's doing the the wine, how uh, what what make the difference between his champagne to the other champagne, mm -hmm. and not only having a glass of bubbly wine and uh, what what is behind that sure and so that, uh, that information that education is really yeah. core to the brand and uh, and and also why a champagne is better in a crystal glass and a sure. crystal glass <laughs> and uh, why use a, a crystal champagne cooler yeah or why use a, a caviar a caviar cooler yep. uh, and uh, so this is all this uh, and all the reason why we partner also with these brands and uh, it creates synergies. So how have you managed to keep the brand relevant and, um, and fresh and modern, um, you know, not only as tastes and trends change, but also as economic um, conditions change globally? And we've seen this, obviously, in the last several years. Um, you know, how have you managed to keep the brand relevant in light of the change? We are, we are a small brand, mm -hmm. so we are very careful in, in, in our investments. Mm -hmm. We are very careful uh, uh, of all our expenses. And, uh, but uh, we never forget that uh, uh, we want that our customer being perfectly served, perfectly, uh, 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 perfectly receiving the, 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 the our products uh, uh, and uh, in a timely manner, uh, explaining them also the lead time to produce, uh, uh, always keeping them uh, informed about uh, what is the order and where is a order? Where is uh, and uh, and when it's a special order, we also sometimes invite them in the factory to see the progress, the work in progress, and uh, all these kind of small things, uh, which are not very expensive for a small company like us, but which really create a strong relationship with our customers, mm. and that's how. Because we have that very strong relationship with our customers, we also see how their needs change, how their expectation, their expectation change. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, that's being very close with our customer uh, help us sure. to adapt our offer, to adapt us to the market and to the change of the market. So let's talk just briefly about media strategy because I know a lot of luxury brands have worked to um, be if be efficient, and they've sought out social media, for example, is another avenue for engaging with with their core consumers. Um, I see you have a Facebook page where you do a lot of you post a lot of photos and images of the product in in use, um, the silver and and the and the jewelry, for example. Talk a little bit about how you've transitioned into the social media space, even. It's uh, yeah, it's important, and uh, and uh, our customers are following the brand uh, uh, on Facebook and uh, it's a way also for them to to stay updated about our new creation and our events. Mm -hmm. When we participate to the Orchid dinner uh, with Veranda, they know and they see how we dress that table and that, that wonderful use of uh, that huge champagne cooler and which was used a totally different way and to present a very nice uh, uh, orchids and flower uh, uh, bouquet. Um, and uh, so that's where it's important. And uh, we all also have a Twitter account. We also <laughs> have a Pinterest account. And, uh, and uh, we are using all the different means, uh, uh, the social media means to, to stay in contact with them. Yeah. And, uh, so is this a is and, and is it a brand that people repeat uh, purchase repeatedly? I mean, I would imagine that your product is 
such high quality that it lasts forever. So how do you? This is this is an issue. Okay. The, we have a, a, you know we have a customer buying a, a, a crystal set and they have it for the life. Sure. And uh, so the issue is uh, how we make sure that that customer will come back again. Mm. Uh, and that's the reason why we have not only and 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 we stop to be only or we we move more to a lifestyle brand than to be only a tableware brand. Okay, so that's and why you have the jewelry. That's the reason why products, we have the jewelry. The that's the reason why we have the accessories. The reason why we have small boxes, small decoration items, mm -hmm. and picture frames. Mm. And have like you also this uh, experimented with lower price point items as well, so that you can have sort of a there's a range. We offering? we don't want to enter that kind of okay. uh, 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 that kind of discussion and we don't want to enter uh, uh, in the discount uh, 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 fight and uh, it's not it's not Christoph it's not the purpose of the brand mm -hmm. it's uh, we choose to keep the quality of the product our product are made in France made in Europe uh, and uh, and we don't want to compromise on that sure and uh, the consequence of that it's uh, uh, we don't want to lower our price because we have a customer asking for a price. Right. And we as far as consider the that the, our price, our, our items have, uh, have, a, they have a value and, and we price them at, the, at their value. But if, of course, if ha having a kind of broadening your selection of products, if you will, mm -hmm. presents, creates other opportunities for you to uh, bring on new customers or uh, engage with existing customers who are looking for other types of products, right? If we, if we go to the jewelry collection, for sure. example, uh, our jewelry collection is really to access the brand. It's a good example of the, to how to, you can access the brand. Mm -hmm. We would like to have the daughter of our customer. And it's a way for, right. for us to, uh, to, for this young customer to enter the brand, to discover the brand. When they get married, I hope they'll think about Christophe. But not, not only for that, and uh, we launch, we just launched at Maison et Objet uh, a line of furniture, and uh, and I hope they'll think about Christophe to when they buy a new home, and um, and but by entering the brand with the jewelry, and our jewelry it's only sterling silver without stone, uh, it's not gold, and it's uh, and the, the price point is very affordable, and uh, it's it's very easy to enter the brand uh, through that way. And, uh, and, and our jewelry is designed by different designers, very different styles. Mm. You can have a, a very nice necklace from Michel O'Cadoner, but also from André Putman or from young designer like uh, Adeline Cash. Mm. Uh, and yep. So. so where do you go from here? Where, you know, how do you continue to extend the brand and also sort of you know, create more opportunities for more people to engage with the brand and learn about it? So as I was just telling you that uh, we we just launched a, a, a furniture line, mm -hmm. and uh, this furniture line has been designed by Oraito, uh, and uh, it will be presented in New York in uh, in April, and uh, and we continue to think how we can equip the houses of our, our of our customer. How and we are going more and more to try to convince decorator and designer to think about Christophe, to think about special order with Christophe, to think bespoke with Christophe. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and by having this line of furniture. And because we can do also, and we do, it's a big part of our activity to do special order mm -hmm. and uh, on measure uh, items. And, uh, uh, and uh, they, it's uh, also where we are moving, and uh, we just uh, launched also in collaboration with TAG uh, two lines of faucets, and uh, so that's really, really a strategy for the Christophe to uh, not only stay on the table and uh, to see what is happening around the table and to be able to to, to equip that.